Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pico Computer Training. So we're in Excel and we're looking at how to sum up VLOOKUPs. I've got two scenarios. I've got a shopping list here. These are the items I've bought. And I want to sum up the total cost of buying these products. And it's going to get the individual prices from this kind of master list here. So that's my first scenario. Second scenario is I want to better choose a lookup value and it's going to add up the entire column or you could use the same for the entire row. So two slightly different scenarios, but both we need to include some sort of summing calculation alongside our lookups. There are going to be two versions of this workbook. The first scenario we're going to look at, well, the first workbook we're going to look at is in Office 365 where we can use XLOOKUP. Now XLOOKUP just simplifies this calculation amazingly compared to what we're going to have to do in Excel 2010 or 2013 or 2016. I'll show you that later. So I just want to start off with XLOOKUP. If you haven't got this, it's worth probably looking just to see how it's done. And then if you do upgrade to Office 365, uh, you'll know what to do. So let's move to the empty sheet. Well, not the empty sheet, but the sheet without the formulas. So here's my shopping list. And I want to better to add up the total cost of this shopping list. So what you might do if you wanted to use a helper column is something like this. You might say VLOOKUP. So I look up this value in this table array. F4 to fix it, returning values from column two, doing an exact match. Okay, so then I would copy that down and then I would sum it up, alt equals. That gives me one, two, four. Okay, so I've had to use five cells there to perform this calculation. Maybe I don't have that room. Maybe I just want to perform the calculation in one cell. I don't need these individual values here. So how am I going to do it? Okay, well, with XLOOKUP, it's dead easy. XLOOKUP. So my lookup value, rather than being one value, with XLOOKUP, you can choose as many lookup values as you like. So that's the whole shopping list. Comma, lookup array. Well, that's in column A. I don't need to fix it because I'm not copying it anywhere. Comma, return array. So the column that returns the contains the values I want to return. Those are the prices. Close the bracket. Now if I press enter, you can see that what it's doing is it's returning those exact results, but I only need one formula to do that. It's essentially spilling the multiple results because I've got multiple lookup values. Now what I can do is just sum those results. Press enter, it no longer spills the other individual values into the cells below because I only have one aggregated value. So that's how I do it with XLOOKUP. Let's move over to the Office 2010 version, which is not going to be quite as easy, but you can do it. And we're actually not going to use VLOOKUP. We're going to use uh, a, a function called a LOOKUP now, lookup will only work if the values in your lookup table are arranged in alphabetical order or numeric order or whatever, but they need to be in ascending order, essentially. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. So that's why this list of product names is in ascending order. Lookup works like that. So I'm going to say equals lookup. And this is a little bit like XLOOKUP, actually. I'm going to say... These are my lookup values, comma. And I'm using the second one here, by the way. I could use the first version, but I don't need to. But this looks remarkably similar to XLOOKUP, lookup vector and result vector. But I am going to specify my array as the whole table. And it will always, if you do that, if you use this version of it with two arguments, it will always return the values in the rightmost column. So I'm going to press enter and I get a value error. Now, what I'm going to do is select that formula and press F9 on my keyboard. And that 
will display the results of the lookup. The reason I've got a value error is because Excel 2010 can't cope with multiple values. So it returns an error. But it is actually calculating those individual values, 48, 37, 13, 26, which are the individual prices for these items, Control Z. Now you'd think, right, well, let's just sum them up like I did with uh, XLOOKUP, press enter, it doesn't work. What I could do is Control Shift Enter, which creates an array formula, and then it works. Okay, because I've got an array of values that I'm adding up, but Control Shift Enter is just not very comfortable for some people to use. So instead of sum, we can use some product, which will do the job that can cope with the rays, press enter, I get my answer without Control Shift Enter. So I've done it with a mixture of the lookup function and the sum product function. But if you've got X lookup, why would you do that? Why would you do that indeed? Okay, let's move on to the next example. So whenever I change the name here, I want X lookup to total the sales for the column. So again, it's not going to return one value, it's going to return multiple values. Very easy with X lookup. So my lookup value is Ben. Now X lookup will work as if it was doing a vertical lookup. So look up row headings or like an H lookup as if it was looking up column headings and I'm looking up column headings. So my lookup array is up here and my return array are all these values here, all the numbers that I potentially want to add up. And then I just close the bracket and I press enter and it spills the results down here. So Ben, that's what I'm looking at. You can see those numbers correspond with those numbers. If I change this to Betty, I get Betty's numbers. So you guess what I've got to do? I've got to sum them up, put them in sum, and I am done. So just make sure that's right. If I select those, look down on my status bar down here, 22,582, that corresponds with that number there. So how do I do it in old Excel? I've got two ways I can do it. I can actually do this with VLOOKUP. So equals VLOOKUP. My lookup value is Ben, comma, ah. Now I say VLOOKUP, but hopefully you spotted the error. Let's change that. It should be HLOOKUP, shouldn't that? HLOOKUP. Because essentially I'm looking at values in those column headings. So H lookup, and I'm looking up Ben in this table array. Select all that, comma. Now I don't want to return one value, I want to return multiple values. So I normally specify which row or column I want to return values from using this argument here. So, I want to return all of the rows. So I've got to use brace brackets for this because I'm going to specify multiple rows. So I want to return row two, three, four, five, six, and seven, then close the brace brackets. So it's, it's like an array of row index numbers that I've created there. And I'm performing an exact match. So that's a zero at the end. Close the bracket, press enter. Now, what I'm getting is Ben's first number. But again, if I use my F9 trick, you can see that it is, in fact, returning all of those numbers. But old Excel, poor old Excel 2010, can't cope with those multiple values. So it's only returned in the first one. Now, I could use sum, but you know where I'm going with this doesn't do it but what if I do control shift enter then it does it 16916 but control shift enter a little bit awkward so some product you can cope with arrays press enter there we are I get it but there's an even better way that's using index index also copes with arrays so index here 
index the array argument is asking for all possible values you might want to return so that's all of those monetary values there now if i want to return a column of values the next argument which is row number i leave blank okay then the column number will that be the position of ben's column in this table i'd have to use the match function for that match returns the position of a value so i'd say what's the position of ben in this lookup array and my match type is zero because i'm doing an exact match okay two close brackets at the end press enter now it returns value but again f9 trick you can see it's returning all ben's values Control z and then i can use sum don't need some product when I'm using index and it works without control shift enter. So two ways of doing it, some product and H lookup or V lookup if you're looking up in a vertical manner rather than a horizontal manner would work just the same. Or alternatively, probably the way I'd go, sum and index. Or if you don't want to use either of those, then you've got to use sum and H lookup with control shift enter. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you found that interesting, whether you've got an old version or a new version of Excel. Please subscribe if you have found it useful and I'll see you next video.